Beautiful Libras, hello, hello, and welcome back, guys. I hope you're all doing amazing. Libra, let's get straight into your messages. These what the person on your mind, what they really, truly want you to know. Libra, the person on Libra's mind. What is this person? They're feeling jealous. You're special to me and I want you all to myself. <laughs> Being together with you means hurting other people. And they're just not ready to deal with the consequences. I want to start a friendship first. When, before we take this to the next level, I want to take things step by step. I'm longing to hold you again, and when I finally do, I never want to let you go ever again. You're my forever. I want to leave the past behind us and start all over again. I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love you deserve. I didn't see the truth about this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded. Now I'm realizing that it's you. It's always you. You were the one. They were stuck in their ego. And they have a lot to learn. I know that I'm disappointing you. And I know you want to talk. But I'm not ready for it. I was already damaged when we met, and that's why everything got so messed up. I'm really sorry for all the mistakes and dishonesty. Please forgive me. I don't want to hurt you ever again. That's what they're saying. Let's go. Libra this person on Libra's mind what is going on for, for Libra and this person oh. somebody may have been manipulating or manipulated a tower I don't know it's like this person knows they want to start all over again with you and they know that they got to communicate. But they are going to have to stand up to someone else. It's like they know they're going to have to hurt someone else in order to be with you. So they are with a third party or a karmic energy or it's people interfering. They were very selfish. They... This person could be doing a lot of drinking. They love you, but they're loving you from afar. It sounds like they were damaged when they met you. It's like they were damaged when they met you. They could feel foolish. It's like, I don't think that this person was ready for commitment. Or maybe they don't know how to act in a committed relationship. It's almost like, well, they're afraid of hurting somebody else. Mm -hmm what they're worrying about and they regret this I'm telling you they regret hurting you they lay awake at night their conscience is bothering them they do have regret they, they don't like making you cry they don't want you to hurt and it's like they know that they're going to have to hurt someone else in order to be with you I don't know. Friends and family don't approve. But they love you. 
And it's like, maybe they don't feel worthy about you. Like they see you as their forever, their forever love. I don't get it. They're scared. Maybe they're feeling trapped. I don't know. They're sorry. Maybe they ghosted you. I don't know. Maybe they breadcrumbed you. Maybe they hurt you. But it's because they don't know how to act in a committed relationship. This person has been damaged. Like, they're damaged when you met. They need to heal. They're so confused. They're so conflicted. It's like they're jealous. They're jealous. They could be jealous that you healed. They could be jealous that, you know, you were healed, they weren't. They could be jealous that, I don't know. It's like you're, you're a leader, you're passionate, you're, they're jealous of you. Your own person is jealous of you. They are. They miss you. <laughs> they're, it's their actions. They messed everything up with their actions. They're like, I know you want to talk. They don't, they don't want to hurt you anymore. They don't want to hurt you anymore. This person moves so slow, it's like... <sighs> I think that they're frustrated. I think that they're angry. I Or you're angry at them. You could have got angry at them because they were so slow. I don't know. They know they've made a lot of mistakes and they don't want to hurt you ever again. I know we have a deep soul connection. The love I feel for you has always been there. It's not because they don't love you they had to find themselves it's like they were damaged this person needs to heal they can't be what you need until they are and it's like see they chose someone else because they didn't have to do that work they you were trying to evolve this person or you were trying to show them a better way of love or a better life for themselves and it was easier for them to take someone who perhaps was toxic so that they didn't have to change but it's not working out see my life may seem like I got it all figured out but the truth is it's one big mess I feel lost and I don't know what to do. Everyone keeps telling me I should move on and let you go, but I can't. 
I pushed you away because I was confused about how I was feeling. Like this person doesn't want to hurt you any more than what they already have. And it's like they are truly conflicted about how to love and how they should be and how they should act and standing up to other people and standing up to their friends and standing up to their family. They're afraid you're not going to love them the way that they love you. They're afraid of going all in with you and losing themselves. Fear is holding them back. But I feel so connected to you. Even though we are miles apart, I can still feel you as if you are sitting right next to me. You're always with me. I'm feeling so sad and down without you in my life. You really were my sunshine and always made me smile. I really miss what we had. They're being honest here. They're being honest. But they are damaged. And they need to heal. And the longer they stay with this karmic energy, the worse it's going to be for them. I... They're saying they're coming back and they're going to fight for this. They think you're beautiful and that you're all that they ever wanted. But they settled. It's not because they didn't love you. It's because they did love you. They didn't want to hurt you no more. They didn't want you to be punished and hurting for something like what they did. It's like they already done enough damage to you. But they're saying they're going to come back and fight for this. So <clears throat> But I wouldn't I wouldn't wait on nobody. I'd never advise waiting on nobody. You go on and you live your life. If they want you then, then that'll be your decision then. If you want them, you may not want them. I never meant to reject you. My heart was saying yes, but the fear was too overwhelming. I took you for granted, and I regret that now. I treated you unfairly, and I'm sorry you didn't deserve that. I just seem to keep hurting you because of all the pain that they have inside themselves. That's why they stay away. They feel like every time they're around you, they hurt you. Or they say something mean, or they say something stupid, or they say something hurtful to you. That's why they're staying away. They don't want to hurt you. This person has a lot of pain inside themselves. And it's like they could have been taking it out on you or, you know, punishing you for the pain that they were feeling and they don't want to hurt you. And I believe them. There's nothing in this read that would lead me to believe that they weren't 
telling the truth. Like they're telling the truth. They feel like they're damaged. And they don't want to hurt you. And they know that they're going to do something to hurt you. Say something or do something. Or that their family or friends are going to say or do something to hurt you. And they don't want it. At least that's their belief system. That's what they're believing. So when somebody is telling you that, believe that. They've got to, they've got to heal. Take care.